Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, um, I've had a few comments and emails and so on from people asking me about the gains and what gains do and can you mess around with them and should you and can you make things better and so on and so forth. So I thought uh, it would be a, as good a time as any to talk about gains. Uh, but before we do that, we need to obviously have a beverage to help us think about these things, uh, as is traditional on the kitchen table. Today is one of the very rare opportunities these days I'm actually getting to film in the daylight hours. Although it's grey and overcast, typical uh, British uh, late winter day, so it doesn't feel like it. But um, yeah, no, it's early, even for me, so uh, we are drinking uh, some coffee today. Uh, the remains of a very nice um, Nicaraguan single estate um Coffee from uh, Finca El Bosque in Nicaragua, courtesy of um, MerchantCoffee.co.uk. Very nice it is too. So cheers for that. Mm. Oh, very nice. So yes, gains. Um, <clears throat> I think now I'm getting uh, the sense that a lot of people are having sort of maybe got their phantom a few months ago and done the basics and, and that's all good and under the, under the belt. What they're looking at is is how they can tweak it to be more to their liking. Uh, and a lot of people have seemed to have sort of landed onto the gains page and thought, oh, this looks interesting. And they've they've kind of read the, the help bit on the side of it. And, um, and But they're wary, rightly, I think, of changing it. So what I thought I'd do is go through gains, what they are, what the two types are, and what might happen if you if you mess about with them. So what we'll do is we'll cut to a to a, a screenshot of the um, the Vision Plus attached into the Vision Assistant, and we'll go to the gain setting. So here you go. You can see that it's available under the um, Basic tab under Gains, and you'll see there are two types: Basic Gain and Attitude Gain, and they're split into, or at least one of them is split into Pitch Roll, Yaw, and Vertical. Now. <sighs> Okay, so what do these two mean? Basic gain is 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 relating to how the aircraft handles itself when it's under auto, fully automatic control. Attitude gains relates to how the aircraft responds to your inputs, um, and by your I mean your, not your. Very confusing. Um, so what is gain? Well, basically, gain, is, you can think of it as how responsive the aircraft is. The lower the number, the softer, the spongier, the less responsive it will be. The higher the number, the sort of the sharper, the crisper, um, the more instantaneous it will be. Um, some people I've seen make an analogy to sort of handling on a car. So if you tighten up the suspension and sharpen up the steering, you get kind of tighter, quicker responding handling. If you let everything go a bit for a long distance cruiser with soft suspension and a bit of slop in the steering wheel, it's a bit more of a relaxing kind of thing. And that's probably quite a good analogy. So that's what the adjustment of the gains do. The bigger the number, the crisper and sharper the response. Now, we have obviously to talk about the two different types. The one that you, uh, can affect your flying style is the attitude gain, because this it directly affects how crisp or soft the controls feel to your inputs. And you'll notice you could only change pitch and roll. That's all you can change. So it's basically the stuff on the right stick. So if you, uh, if you, think of where they're currently set as a benchmark, if you make those numbers higher, then the aircraft will react more sharply, more crisply, more quickly to your control stick inputs. Um, if you reduce them, it will be softer and squishier and there'll be more of a, a sponginess, a sort of a deader feeling at the, you know, at the, at the, at the center. Now, um, the downside of it is that, as you can see, there are only two things you can change. As I said, right stick only, pitch and roll, and that's it. Basic gains have a full set of adjustable parameters, but you probably, if your aircraft is, if you let go of everything in GPS mode and your aircraft pretty much stays within the couple of meters of, of um, horizontal and within a couple of feet vertical, please don't touch these. 
basically these basic gains reflect how responsive the aircraft is to changes in the atmosphere while it's trying to hover. You can look at it like that. So if, for example, we've set it up into a hover, it's sitting there nice and a big gust of wind comes along and pushes it to one side, um, you know, it needs to be able to respond to that quick enough that it doesn't start to drift, but not so quick that it overcompensates and you get into some sort of strange oscillating backwards and forwards as it, as it does, does, does its thing to try and keep itself back. It's the same with the vertical gain. One of the things that you want to be really careful of if you even remotely thinking of changing the basic gains is the vertical gain is it will impact on the hover because if you get it too tight and too crisp, it will come to a stop, um, but it will react a bit quickly and then it will have to compensate and it can start to, to, to get very, very jerky as it, as it sort of bounces up and down doing to do this. On the flip side of it, if you make it too soft and squishy, it will be late to react and then it will float up a bit and then it will want to come back and you get into this kind of oscillating thing going on. Um, there is, uh, if you hover over the left hand information pane um, on the window on about adjustment, it does tell you how to sort out the, um, um, how to sort out that and get, get, get into a hover. And basically the idea is that you get it to the point where it just doesn't hit the hover and then you knock it back. Um, really though, for the Phantom, if you're fine, unless you're hanging lots of extra weight on it and there's a, there is an issue, you could try that. But the first thing to do, if you're going to make any changes, please note down what your settings are. Uh, and then you can put them back to where they were quite easily if you do. Um, so there we go. That's what the gain adjustment does. Relatively limited of use because the ones that might control how your stick feels is uh, pitch and roll only. A lot of people have asked me if they can use it to smooth out the yaw because they've seen, oh, look, yaw gains, but that's only under the basic gain mode. That will only affect how the aircraft yaws itself to keep it lined up with the compass uh, direction that you've asked it to hold. Uh, you cannot uh, manually change the gain for how the yaw stick feels. So that left hand thumb or four thumb and forefinger still needs to be very smooth. Uh, this won't compensate. So there we are. I hope that's helped to people understand what gains are and in most cases why you probably shouldn't mess around with them. Uh, but if you do, please, as I said, make sure you've noted down what the figures are because you can then revert to it. And please make small changes if you're going to, maybe five or 10% test it, come back, adjust and, 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 and you know do again. Don't make big changes and, and, and do it. Um, and that's it really. Many thanks for your time. I hope that was useful to some and uh, we'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. But until then, cheers.